Um, carry on cruising, uh, <laughs> cruise ships offshore. It sounds ludicrous, isn't it? Well, it was actually tried once before, mm-hmm. and it just so happened. I think that it was Douglas Hurd, Home Secretary. You're quite right. And it was yes. it was all tried, and lo and behold, it sank. Yeah, during the, the big storm. So it's it's nothing new. And they've it, had plans about prisoners as well in in well, sort of yes, ships yeah, offshore. Ship, so. yes. yeah. yeah, I I mean it's it's, it's the practicalities sort of, of it all. T- to be honest, I think. Rishi Sunak's ten-point plan is a ten-point ten-point plan to nowhere. Frankly, it's it's and is the problem all this is addressed to Tory party faithful, particularly perhaps the right wing of the party. It's not really addressing what needs to be done when they become prime minister and, and run the country. I obviously that's what the um, the campaign is all about. That's what they're contending for. They want to be prime minister and they've got to be elected leaders of the Conservative Party first. So, mm. yeah, I, I mean, that's clearly where their arguments are directed towards. The thing is that I'm not sure that they're getting it right in terms of the bit of immigration that they should be discussing. Which it's is? Overall immigration. Right. Asylum is actually one-fifth, one-sixth of overall legal immigration. And they're just scared. They're running scared of actually discussing that issue. We had three and a half million people added to our population in just 10 years. Mm. And, you know, over 80% of that was due to immigration. Right. Immigrants and children born to them. And, and they and, won't discuss it. Yeah, and, and Rwanda has become a bit of a football, particularly between the two of them, uh, for time. Where are we on this? I mean, you know, a bit far to send the cruise ships around to Rwanda, isn't it? Well, look, I mean, I, th- I totally agree with the point just made, actually, that this is about the Tory party leadership. And unfortunately, what's happening is that uh, Liz Truss and Rishi Sunak have both concluded that you have to go far to the right yeah. to win the membership, the electorate, which is 0.003% of the population who are by and large well off, by and large in the southeast, uh, and, and by and large quite right wing. So they're going to make promises to, to win this particular election, which are going to have to be delivered afterwards, whether they make any sense or not. So I don't, I don't think for a minute um, Rishi Sunak thinks Rwanda is a good idea, but he don't say they're, that. They're stuck with it. He don't say that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, may I beg to differ? Of course, that's why you're here. This is not (laughs) right-wing by any means. There's a lot of Labour Party, in fact, over 56%. On on Rwanda specifically, you mean? On on Rwanda, on the whole immigration issue, but on Rwanda, all people, according to polling, the majority want Rwanda to work. It's not... But in, in a way, Rwanda is... It's, it was never going to solve the whole issue of cross-channel immigration. And I've said this on this Indeed, station over have. and over again. Yeah. It's part of it. What's happening at the moment, it's stalled. We won't really know whether it has any impact until it actually the flights take off and this starts operating. Otherwise, we're, we're actually waiting now to see... The vacuum. And they've got to discuss it. The two candidates have got to discuss immigration.